God damn, 2020 has been a roller coaster, and 2021 ain't looking much better. Aside from that thing, that thing, and those things, and a bunch of stuff that happened to me that I really don't want to get into, uh, we also had this, this, and yeah, that was pretty good, and that, ooh, I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna get to that soon, I am so gonna get to- ah! Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, calm down, calm down. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, maybe it... Okay, now we panic. Ah! Okay, so this happened. Apparently Toys for Bob is now working in the Call of Duty mines. And you know what? Yeah, now's the time to panic. Now is the time to go into full panic mode because I've seen this happen before. Believe it or not, Activision closes down a lot of studios this way. Uh, studio, which is known for making years and years of good games, is bought by Activision. They make good games at Activision for a couple of years, and then their studio just fucking disappears. It happened with Sierra Entertainment, it happened with Radical Entertainment, it happened with Shaba Games, it happened with Luxoflux, it happened with Underground Development, and it happened with Bizarre Creations, who, I need to remind you, were 19 years into the industry until Activision bought them for three years and then shut them down. Look, I know that what I'm doing is basically speculation, but those who do not learn from history are doomed to have Activision close yet another studio. And why? Well, my guess is they can't exactly monetize Crash Bandicoot. See, the thing with Crash games is that they aren't exactly games with long-ish lifespans that can be microtransaction to hell and back. Which means that Activision isn't making as much of a profit as they can. In fact, I think the only reason Skylanders was kept around as long as it was was because Toys to Life was as profitable as... Well, Call of Duty and loot boxes. Seriously, have you seen kids go absolutely nuts over these stupid plastic figurines that were so cheap to make? I mean, that series just pretty much printed money. That's why it was kept around for so long, and that's why Toys for Bob had such a long run with it. And holy crap, now that they can't do that, now that they can't sell exclusive characters to be put in a top-down, whatever the hell this is game, they're closing down studios left and right in order to make short-term benefits. I mean, after all, Bobby Cotta's gotta have his, uh, second Lamborghini or what, whatever rich people buy. I'm not a rich person, so I wouldn't know. Anyways, does this spell the end for Crash and Spyro? Yes, yes it does. I mean, seriously. Again, Crash and Spyro aren't series that you can monetize unless it's Skylanders or CTR, I guess, which is good news for me because I like CTR, but also bad news for me because I don't like CTR's microtransactions. And what makes this worse is that most of the people who actually worked on Crash 4 at Toys for Bob either left of their own accord or were laid off. I know of a bunch of people who have gone out on Twitter and said, yeah, I'm leaving the company, it's just not for me, I don't want to work on Call of Duty. And dear God, I do not blame them. At worst, this means a bunch of programmers, artists, and just generally a bunch of cool creative people are now out of the job. However, maybe they'll go on to form their own game studio like Playtronic did, and maybe we'll get a spiritual successor to Crash Bandicoot. Which is a double-edged sword, because yeah, spiritual successor to Crash Bandicoot, but no, I just want more Crash Bandicoot. I like Crash Bandicoot. I like Dingo Dial. I like Coco. I like... Tana. I like all of these characters, and it's a shame to see that... <sighs> That's just buried under Activision's bullshit. This is an absolute bad thing, and I absolutely hate that it happened. But, what did I expect? Activision is Activision, and Activision is greedy, terrible, and stupid. Uh, but I guess I can't blame them. After all, it's like Jim Sterling said, big corporations would rather have none of the money than some of the money if they can't have all the money. Well, now I'm depressed. As for me, I'm working on the Crash 4 review and a couple other reviews on the side, but it is really hard to get my thoughts out on Crash 4. There's a lot of things I like, and a lot of things that I don't. But overall, it, it's a good game, and I think you should buy it if you haven't already. It's really fun. Like, like go, go buy it. Show, show Activision that you actually care about the series. <sighs> and I can't believe I'm saying that. Because I hate saying that. I hate having to purchase a series in order to keep it around. Like, why can't the series just be good? 
Why, like, why can't we just have good games anymore? No, we have to have money-making extravaganzas. Mario Kart's a goddamn gotcha machine. Crash on the Run is terrible. I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just depressed. I need to get back to reviewing old classic games. That way I can be happy again. Look, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sorry that it's been... However the fuck long it's been since my last review. 2020 and 2021 has been a bitch to us all. And this is just a kick to the groin. I, I just want to make videos now. Again, sorry for the absence. I'll try to come back soon, but no promises.